Hey, good morning, Parkside. Welcome to this week's encouragement video. Let me share something uh, just from the last seven days or so that's been encouraging to me, and it's coming out of our Vacation Bible School. Uh, you guys remember uh, our strategy on VBS. We went to the weekend VBS because we wanted to have uh, more of an opportunity for those who don't know Christ or are not connected to a church uh, to come back on Sunday and be at Parkside for a worship gathering. Uh, and so that was why we went to the weekend model. One of the other things that we did is we said, hey, we're not going to blast this on social media. We're not going to do mass mailers for VBS because uh, the goal is not necessarily more and more and more numbers, uh, but for our people to be equipped, to be sent out uh, and reach their friends, to reach their neighbors, their coworkers, uh, kids on their youth soccer team, all of that. Uh, and so, so we're trying to see an uptick in people that don't know Christ and get them connected to the church as a whole. Uh, and so that, that's very much our strategy. And this year, what we saw is, uh, is a higher percentage of people coming on Sunday who weren't connected to a church already. That means that Parkside, you are going and inviting people you know who aren't Christians, who don't go to church and say, hey, I think your kids would love this. Why don't you bring them and then uh, then they could start to be connected to people in the church. And once, sometimes we say uh, you introduce kids to God's children and then they can meet the father from there. Uh, so that's really encouraging for me to see that happening. This is what we call a culture of discipleship. Remember, culture of discipleship, just think this. It's normal for Christians to be making disciples, to be helping other Christians grow closer to Jesus and for those uh, that you know who don't know Jesus, you're actually helping them to find Jesus. Uh, so it might be reading the Bible with somebody. It might mean going through a book study with somebody. It might mean inviting a friend to vacation Bible school. It might mean inviting someone to church this Sunday. We'll be talking about uh, a, a definitely a loaded topic uh, of sexuality as we continue week two of our Not Your Own sermon series. Uh, but this one is the hornet's nest of all hornet's nests for cultural issues that we're facing right now. Uh, and I think the world is uh, wondering, is there actually a positive vision uh, of what the church is about and what the Bible's about? Certainly, there's been a lot of talk about what we're against, but what are we for? Uh, and so I hope to lay out a positive vision of what God says and how about sexuality and how the gospel informs our sexuality. And as with every week, I hope you'll invite somebody to come back this Sunday and hear what the Bible says about these issues that are front and center all over in our culture. All right, Parkson, I love you. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you Sunday. I hope you're having a great week. I may see some of you at the fair this weekend. I uh, hope that's a good time as well. And uh, definitely we'll be seeing you Sunday. So have a great week and uh, think about this question. Who can I disciple today? How can I build a culture of discipleship in my life, my family's life, uh, and see more people coming to know Jesus and growing closer to Jesus through this church? We pray uh, that will be on your heart, on your mind, and you'll take steps of obedience this week. All right, have a good one. We'll see you.